What am I gonna say, YouTube? My friend's over there yakking on the phone. There ain't even nobody on the phone. Fucking up my share video. I think she jelly, if you know what jelly mean. My makeup's all smeared because it's hot out here and the wig makes it that much hotter. See, I'm sweating it, the wig's wet. Hello, YouTube. It's Vicky Lynn in Viva Las Vegas playing Cher tonight. Screwed up the video. Um, I don't know where I got this magic marker at, but who knows, who cares. Uh, trying to find my money so I can go in there and get something to refresh me. Got a big old knife in my purse. Just in case, I'm at the ghetto. So if somebody attacks me, ee, 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 like fucking psycho. Ee, ee. <laughs> okay, I, okay, I lay Anyway. Uh, oh, shit, I got the other knife. I didn't even know I had it. If I knew I had the little one, I wouldn't have brought the stupid big one. Uh, too late now, homie. So I had $5 in here. I can't find the fucker. Jackpot. $5, I'd buy my friend a Coke and me a, uh, man, what's that matter? I think I left it at home, pretty sure I did. Sweating all the makeup off. That hap that's what happens when you videotape in the middle of the night and be to Las Vegas. And, uh, let me get that eye booger. Uh, and, you know, it's like over 100 degrees. Jackpot, I got eyeliner. Great. Jackpot, jackpot, jackpot. I can refresh myself, and I'm going to take the wig off and have purple and blonde hair again after a while. And change clothes. Act two. This crazy neighbor's dog keeps following me, and the guy's screaming at me in the whiskey store, and I'm telling him, it ain't my dog. Stop blaming me. He's following everybody. She's following everybody. Got the eye booger again. Ooh, that didn't knock a bitch out. Oh, Lord, now it's really smeared. I need donations, people. I'm barely surviving. I'm sweating my ass off. You can donate. At the, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. You can donate. And remember, there's a black Barbie just going up to my 1,000 subscriber. I'm working my ass off to get there so I can get home to Kentucky to my nephew. You know, his daddy died, and I can't afford no ticket to go home for the funeral. Now, if it had been back in the day, I could have borrowed the damn money, but my son has messed up my credit all the way around. Gave him car payments, and he waits to the 10th day. You know, got a 10 days leeway. For three years, he paid the car payment 10 days late, and it had like 3,000 worth of late penalties on it because his ass is stupid. I should have never bought a car with my son that drove us apart for a while. Anyway, I'm playing chair, sweating my nuts off. If I had nuts, if I had a cock, I would stick it in somebody's mouth at this instant, okay? Anyway, pray for my family, the Bartley family. Uh, that was my favorite sister, my Delphi's husband, and they're being laid to rest beside each other tomorrow. Uh, the viewing was today from uh, three day three in the afternoon to eight p.m. I wanted my nephew to rest, and then when he gets buried tomorrow, then I'll call him tomorrow. Which he, you know, he's gonna need my support tomorrow because, that, of course, I'm his favorite aunt. He's my favorite uh, nephew, little Eddie, Eddie Jr. Eddie Sr. is the one being buried tomorrow. Uh, my brother's ex-wife, Virgie, from Nashville, she couldn't make it to the funeral because she don't have no car. Uh, my nephew, Tony, couldn't make it to the funeral, even though I knew him all his life. I couldn't make it. We don't know who's got a vehicle or I don't have money for a plane ticket. I should have did a GoFundMe. But uh, hopefully on Delphi's birthday, y'all could, uh, <clears throat> I'll put a GoFundMe on Facebook so I could get back for her birthday on September the 2nd. Uh, that's when I want to go home. 
September the 2nd to, I don't know what day it falls on, but five days later I'll fly back to Vegas. I'm gonna put a GoFundMe for that so I can go to her grave and make another beautiful thing I, like I did on her birthday in 2016. I haven't been home since 2016, so that's six years ago. I need to go home, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and donate to my cash app so I can go home and see my sister's grave with her husband, Barry, next to her. Um, that's my wish. I'll worry about the Wild Angel Times book being made after that, so. I barely got cigarettes left, so. I have to like smoke butts or play like I'm smoking with filters. I don't care about the smoking anyway. I want to go home. I'll quit smoking if y'all give me enough to go home. Uh, <clears throat> like, share, and subscribe. I'll put a GoFundMe page on Facebook and see what happens. I want to get home by September the 2nd, so I only got three weeks to get the money to go home. And I, I found a place called uh, Fly By or Fly Me or something like that that's really cheap where I can get a, like, 300 round trip, then, say, 200 for a rental car for five days, and, say, five days. And try to get a ch cheap hotel with it. Uh, so it would be about 1000 altogether. So, mm, the Wild Angel story, when I was playing here out in the, uh, the desert, this guy, I am really sweating bad, honey. It's like, no wonder I'm losing all this weight besides Crohn's disease. I say ulcerative colitis is the same thing as Crohn's. You know, I've had diarrhea now for seven days straight, and then next week I'll get constipated for a week, and then the next week after that I'll spit up blood or poop blood for another week. That's the way it affects your body. If you don't know what Crohn's disease is, ulcerative colitis, look it up. They're the same fucking thing. Same symptoms, everything. Anyway, I always love your family. I always I tell God every day, thank you for waking me up and give me another day of sunshine and give me another chance to love my family. Give me another chance to have an adventure. Give me another chance uh, to live. You know, there's a lot of weird things going on. The world could end any day, guys, so you better be sweet to one another. All the people that did me wrong, I forgive them. And there's a lot of them. I'm the homeless guys. One, I know seven years. I, I gave him a big old ribeye, the black boy stand, and he stole $40 worth of my weed. He brought over Jonathan, a kid I didn't know, a boy named Mo I didn't know. And Mo was a good kid, a black kid with glasses, with dark, with black rim on it. He's a really good kid. I got a video of him. Jonathan's the asshole. But Stan's the asshole because I fed him, gave him clothes, let him sleep in my place, let him shower. And he turns around and steals my medical marijuana when I was sick on 4th of July. Ain't that fucked up. Anyway, I got tired of getting assholes, so I'll tell you what I did on part two. Please like, share, and subscribe. This is Vicky Len Martinez in Viva Las Vegas. Signing off, there's a library across the street and a little crazy dog, that's my neighbor's dog, that follows me everywhere because I feed it because it's crazy. I want them, When I leave in November, I want them to give me that dog. They don't take care of it. They got another dog that have 12 litters till it died from having so many babies so they could sell the puppies for like $80 a piece. What assholes. I smacked the shit out of that fat bitch. Her name starts with an M and it ends with an asshole. <laughs> okay. Like, share, and subscribe. Remember, mothers, daughters, grandmothers. I got a black Barbie doll, holiday bar, uh, Barbie from 1997. You can win it as my 1,000 subscribers. So get on it. Subscribe. Love one another. Love God. Always show your gratitude to God. I went to church Sunday. I had a beautiful day at church. Jesus loves you. So do I. Peace out.